God, I am so ready for this snow to go away. It is a little bright out here, guys. Just got a fresh coating of snow. Gonna have to plow the driveway today. God, is it bright. All right, guys. So we've had some developments in the last week that are pretty wild uh, surrounding Garmin LiveScope. So Garmin has released their latest technology in their transducer development. So essentially what they did is they went through kind of looked at all the flaws that were being pointed out by Garmin users and they went in and they kind of made some improvements. So in this video, we're going to talk about the old live scope versus the new live scope, what you can expect, what you're going to see, and truly, is it worth spending the money on the new live scope? I don't know, but let's jump in and let's talk about it. As you guys can see, I do have a Garmin live scope set up on my boat. Actually just picked up the Garmin 1222 GPS maps unit. So that's gonna be my dedicated live scope unit. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's jump right in and let's talk about what's up. So as I said before, Garmin has released a brand new updated transducer. Now this is called the LVS 34. As you can see in this picture, the LVS 34 looks quite a bit different than the initial LVS 32. Now, I'm thinking what happened here is Garmin took feedback and they went back and looked at the design and they decided that they could update it to make it function a little bit better in terms of shape um, and as well as the overall clarity. So what you're gonna see is it looks pretty similar to the Lowrance Active Target Deucer, as you can kind of see here in this side-by-side -side picture that I'm showing you. Now, obviously all of us are questioning, you know, right now, what's the big question, the elephant in the room? Is it worth spending the extra money right now to upgrade your live scope system to the LVS 34? Is there enough improvement to justify that upgrade? Um, the other question is, do you just buy the transducer and you have both of them and you have maybe a backup or do you just sell and then upgrade? There's a lot of questions floating around. Let's kind of address it and jump right in. So first off, if you already have the LVS 32, you already know the incredible abilities of live scope. So this unit is incredible. You are able to cast and see your bait coming in, watch fish eating it. Um, amazing for scanning under the ice, just an overall amazing system. Now, the question is, has there been enough of an upgrade? So I've seen some videos. Um, to me, it looks better, certainly better, but I'm not sure if it justifies the upgrade. Um, that being said, the marketing videos that come out, uh, the videos initially that show generally never are as good as they're going to be. So once people get this and they start playing around with it and YouTubers start filming, you're going to see a lot more videos with probably a lot better resolution. Now, I say that to say this. They are claiming that you are getting better target separation. So essentially at 100 feet out, Garmin is claiming that with the new LVS 34 transducer, you are able to see target separation extremely well with targets down to 14 inches. So 100 feet at 14 inches, that's a pretty good distance away. If you can get target separation that far away, you have to imagine, we have to imagine, that when you're 30, 40, 50 feet away, the separation and detail has to be absolutely incredible. Now, I did see this post posted up by Austin Miller on Facebook, which I thought was very interesting. You can see in this picture, there is a tractor down about 29 feet, 29 feet deep. And you can actually see the treads on the tractor. You can see the hub of the rim. I mean, you can see everything there. So I would say, given the fact that they say it's gonna have more clarity, that it's gonna have better target separation out at a certain distance, I think that is a pretty key factor um, to considering whether or not this is gonna be worth it for you. Just take that into consideration, think about it, and you'll have to decide if that improvement in itself, that target separation and that resolution improvement or that clarity is gonna be a big thing for you. Now, the last but certainly not least thing to consider with this new LVS 34 LiveScope Plus is that they're also including a bracket that allows for perspective mode, okay? So before, they did not have that included. You had to get a mount from someone else. Now Garmin has decided to include that with the LVS 34 Plus. So that certainly is an upgrade in itself, being able to have that built right into the package. Now, the next claim that Garmin has made is that they have done a better job of just clearing up the entire picture. 
So meaning kind of hiding that ghost tree, getting rid of a lot of that clutter, kind of what the most recent update was meant to do. But unfortunately, it seems that a lot of people that did the most recent update are not happy with it. They feel they can't get a good picture again. They feel the update was actually harmful more than beneficial. So I think that last update was meant to do a lot of clarity, um, but I'm not sure if everyone is real happy with it. So their claim is in this new transducer is that you're going to see that clarity. You're going to see that improved picture. You're not gonna have all the interference that you currently see on the LVS32 transducer. So that in itself is also a very big improvement, um, especially when you're being picky and finicky and fishing in weeds, ice fishing, or fishing rock flats. I mean, having that resolution and that clarity is really, really a big deal if you really wanna pluck certain fish out of a school or whatever it might be. So personally for me, I think that's a huge upgrade, being able to get rid of all those little clutters on the screen and having that ability to see a lot better. Now, you know, in conclusion, guys, we're talking about better target separation, better resolution on the screen, decluttering, and also an improved mounting system to help you with perspective mode. Now, overall for me, I hear a lot of people that are saying, oh, you know, it's just not worth it. Uh, I'll just keep my live scope, it works fine, um, which there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, in my opinion, we are looking for the system to function better. It's not that we would love a wider beam or something like that, but that being said, I would rather see the current system function at a higher level with more quality than I would an extended beam with the current quality. So ideally in a perfect world, we would see both of those. So personally for me, I am ordering, actually I already have on pre-order the new LVS 34 plus. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I will be dropping videos with it right away as soon as the water opens up over in Green Bay on the Fox River. That way you guys can see some good shots of it, how it's functioning, if, I, if I'm happy with my purchase or if I'm not. And maybe some of you will see that and it might help you out and decide if you're going to order it or not. I think overall it was worth the purchase. Uh, given the upgrades, given the changes they were able to make, I think people are gonna be happy with those upgrades. Um, that being said, I don't think it's for everyone. I don't think every person out there is gonna be willing to jump up and throw either 1300 bucks or 1600 bucks, 1700 bucks out to get that new quality. All in all, I think it boils down to your personal decision, your personal finances, and what you are willing to be able to spend money on or capable of spending money on, um, and how much of a jump or an improvement you truly expect from Garmin on this one. Go down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this new Garmin system right now. Uh, there's a lot of buzz about it. I'm really curious to hear what everybody has to say. Um, so definitely go down below, leave the comments, leave your questions. I will do my best to answer everything that you guys are down there commenting. If you guys like this video and it was informative and you learned something, please go ahead and hit that like button. And also, if you have friends who are interested in learning some more, go ahead and hit the share button and send that to them as well. If you have not, make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys. We want to get as many subscribers as we can. We have some really, really sick spring giveaways coming up. Uh, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way, when we drop those giveaways, you will be the first one to see it. So... Thank you guys for watching and we will see you on the next one.